up everyone welcome back to another pinball fx tournament video let's talk about the scores in leaderboard for last week's tournament with williams whirlwind where we had a five minute challenge um so one of the things that i was noticing as i was playing this table was that as we've been playing a lot of these five minute challenge modes the experience of playing certain tables with different modes feels a lot different. Now that sounds obvious, but it's really kind of it's kind of crazy and awesome because playing Whirlwind Classic is it's going to feel a lot different than the 5 minute challenge. I think that's because Whirlwind it's one of the tougher tables and the 5 minute challenge you have you have basically 5 minutes uh, unlimited ball saves, right? And on Whirlwind uh I think you might even have one if it doesn't even if it doesn't hit any switch, right? So, um, and with the five minute challenge on whirlwind with unlimited balls, you're able to try different shots that you maybe normally wouldn't if you were playing classic because you know that you have that ball save. Plus, on top of that, you can nudge as frequently as you want. So there's a lot of things that make the five minute challenge great on certain tables. Um, something that Ritzy was talking about last time was the uh, how some tables have the end of ball bonus, uh, such as Twilight Zone, and you don't get the you don't get that end of ball bonus in a five minute challenge, which I never thought about until he mentioned it. So that was something great, and I don't think you have that problem here. Um, but it's it's something to think about because if you're playing a table on a five minute challenge that does uh, have an end of ball bonus, it won't count. So you kind of have to be like, okay, what can I do to score big without relying on that end of ball bonus? But I don't think we have that here. Um, but it's just an interesting thought that he brought up um, when you talk about you know bonuses at the end of each ball, right? You're not going to get them on this table or any table that has a bonus feature, right? Which is kind of interesting, because I don't know, on a 5-minute challenge, how do you incorporate that if you have unlimited balls? I don't think you should have it, because if you have unlimited balls, the end of ball bo bonus doesn't make any sense. Um, but maybe they could add it at the end of your very last ball. I don't know. Um, something to think about, but uh, when we talk about the table, the strategy for this table, I noticed that it was all about the multi-ball Getting the multi-ball, hitting that left ramp with that secondary flipper is where you have the million shot. And that's where your that's the bread and butter of this table, is hitting that left ramp during the multi-ball for the millions. Um, you can also score different ways to accumulate a lot, but uh, that one is where you're going to get the millions. So it was all about how quickly you could start a multi-ball and how efficiently you could hit that left ramp when you had the multi-ball. Also, there was something um, that I found that was kind of like um, could hurt you was hitting the cellar doors. They took away like some precious seconds because uh, it would stay there for like two seconds and it would pop back out. Um, and sometimes the cellar door wards are not that worth it. And then you have to light them. Secondly, you have to light them to get them. Um, but there was just something I noticed that kind of kept the gameplay kind of slow. So yeah um we had a lot of people turn out for this tournament 15 people in total so that was pretty cool to see and let's go over the scores right now so in first place we had rich c111 with 14 million points really great score there um you can still see how close all these scores are i mean they're only separated by a couple million couple hundred thousand so it just shows you how 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 important time is and how it kind of keeps everyone on the same level um, when you have a limited amount of time. So in second place we have Max Velocity with 11 million points. In third place we have The Rob with 10 million. Um, as you can see there, 1 million point differential. And then in fourth place we have Rocket Magnet UK with 9 million. Also a 1 million point differential um, between third and fourth. So you can see a lot of these places, these uh, spots in the tournament, were just decided by a million points or less. 
So in fifth place, we have Balchi 99 with 7 million. I had 7 million in sixth place. Pinball FX fans, 7 million as well in seventh. Go down here, we have eighth place, Bad Jack Downs with 6 million. Very close to 7 million. Ninth place, Urko 1945. Also with 6 million, very close to Bad Jack Daniels by a couple thousand points. 10th place, we also had Fabled Scarab, 79 with 6 million points. And then 11th place, we have Drackey Barks with 5 million. 12th place, Wombat in a Hat with 5 million as well. And then 13th place, Lockland with 5 million. And finally, in 14th place, we have Brew underscore Dude with 3 million and Somatic with 3 billion as well. Uh, Somatic was telling me something about there's some problems and bugs on the Steam Deck. Um, something about resolution. So my apologies there. I don't have a Steam Deck so I'm not, I'm not usually up to date with what's going on. I'm just a desktop user on my PC so I know that we're all playing on different platforms. As you can see here you have PC, you have console and even Steam Deck. So um, hopefully they fix that bug. <clears throat> so for this week's tournament, which I already created before I even made this video, I figured we'd do a five minute challenge on the Adams family. I know we've done a classic mode on this table, but I feel like this table is so similar to Whirlwind. It's got that secondary flipper. It's got that kind of the setup with the ramp. Left ramp is in the same position. The pop bumpers are where the jet bumpers were in um, Whirlwind. And it's also got like the scoops that you had with the cellar doors. So let's go here. Firstly, you're gonna notice the code, it's FG4Z. And the password, I believe, is 6007, 6007. So that will be in the description below. And my apologies again, guys. Um, there's only four days left, but I had to get it out. <clears throat> so I know there's a skill shot here. It's a light plunge. There it is, two million, let's go. So, like I was saying earlier with the five minute challenge, our, the experience on each table feels different in a good way. Uh, this table is hard just like whirlwind is but now that you have a five minute ball save and unlimited nudging you can try out different shots right and unlike whirlwind there's different kinds of multi balls to get um so there's a lot of ways to score big thing multi ball so you have a little more options here also the mansion awards are gonna can be a lot some of the mansion awards. I love that shot from the What? What is that? Is that like a bug? I wonder what that is. Why is he... Because that took a lot of time out of... And I wouldn't be surprised if there were a lot of bugs in 5 minute challenge modes. Just because... I mean, it's basically... Like going against the the rule set of the table, right? So you're gonna find a lot of bugs in that way. <clears throat> Here's the magnets. Here we go. Shoot left ramp for two times jackpot. Okay. It's that left ramp again, guys.
Oh no! Oh man! That's a tough multi ball. I always thought it was. Quick multi ball. Quick multi ball. Let's go. Where are you? That's where it is, okay. Okay, let's go here. See, this thing animation kind of takes away a lot of time. Oh, there's my quick multi ball. Thing flips. Oh no. Oh, I thought thing was going to flip for a second. Well, guys, as you can see, I already played. Tried to beat my previous score. But uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for everyone who participated in last week's tournament. Hopefully, the, the password works. It's going to be 6,007. And so there's still four days left. My apologies again. Hope you guys have fun. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.